This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hello everybody, every two weeks, every two weeks I change out my games. Go ahead, Gabby. We don't edit anything here. She likes to get underneath that table when I start talking quite a bit. Um, and I usually take back stuff and I try to interchange things because I have a huge storage unit. So I try to find things that uh, I want to tape and have some fun with. And... Um, I'll go there and I'll look around and I'll see what I can find. It's kind of it's kind of nice because you forget a lot of things. And the, and because it's such a huge storage unit, it's kind of impossible to go through everything um, in the rows and rows. So I'll pick out a row and I'll see something. And I said, oh, I'll come back to that. And then I'll forget about it as I go to the other rows in the coming weeks. And then, you know, a month and a half later, I come back to it. Well... We took a whole bunch of stuff out of here, and I think you'd be kind of surprised at some of the stuff that is going out of here. And a matter of fact, I'm making another trip uh, to, to bring stuff out. So here's what's leaving here for now, and you may be shocked by some of the stuff. It doesn't mean that I hate the games or, or that. It's just sometimes you just get to a point where uh, you get tired of it. Not, not tired of it, but how many times can you play the same game? You know, and you want to, get, you know, with over 3,000 games, you want to kind of bring something in the refreshing things. But here are the things that are going to storage unit that I don't think they'll be back here for quite some time, if ever again. Uh, Warcry, Heart of Gur, and I have a, a, a couple other sets of it that went back to the storage unit. See you later. Um, Stars of Akeros. Okay, um, Borefest, uh, Um Games, I'm not impressed with them at all. Their customer service is horrible, okay? Um, and uh, the games are more flash, and I don't think they hold up. Um, yeah, they'll, you know, they can sell you on a whole bunch of stuff, but I think when, when it comes down to it, I don't think the games hold up, to me, okay? Everybody else can love them, that's fine, not for me. Uh, I'd rather play ISS Vanguard, which has more substance than this game that's kind of feels a little bit all over the place. Um, I brought in some. Uh, 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 what else is left? Oh, um, that's the only, only game that I, 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 I didn't care for. Uh, I gave it a good whirl and um, I painted up the ships, which were good, but you didn't need them. Um, but again, it's just it's just a game that's not for me. I think it's for a lot more people than me. Me, I, I just I just felt I'm following a path and I was being forced to follow those things. And the replayability is kind of uh, I don't know. Um, I think that's the only one that I think I complained about. That I don't think we'll ever see the light of day here. Um, and I pay a lot of money for that too, which was ridiculous. Um, but we all make mistakes. Another game that uh, uh, a game that is staying uh, actually is ISS Vanguard because I'm get, I'm I'm sending a Karos off. Um, another game that is leaving shockingly uh, is Warhammer Quest ninety five. Now before people start throwing up their hands and arms, we've we've played it quite a bit. I've been playing it off camera quite a bit, and I'm just to the point where I'm a little tired of it. And I want to bring some different things in and experiment with different things. So I'm going to bring it. It's going to sit on the outside shelf because it sits in a protected area. And uh, both copies are just going to sit there for a while. And we'll bring it back probably before the end of the year because I'll get the itch to play it. But right now it's just taking up space and I want to move it on out of here. Uh, Kill Team, the Space Hulk editions. I got two of them and uh, figured I was going to do all this stuff with it. And, uh, well, then Dead Zone came out. And I decided to choose between one of them and I'm going to stick with Dead Zone. So, uh, that's that uh, left. Um, 
What else left? That that is taking a hiatus. Uh, I forgot to put it in the car, but it is leaving. Frost Punk. Uh, Frost Punk is going to go. I just got it. I just don't think I have the time to set it up and do it here. And I'd rather have the space for stuff that I can do very quickly. And and bring in here. So there, there was a pretty good pile of, of stuff that left here that um, that I was kind of shocked that that left that I kind of said, eh, I'm not going to play this. Eh, I'm not going to play this. Eh, I'm not going to do another, uh, you know, uh, video of this. Um, what was it? There was one other thing that I, I put in there for now. Um, oh, I finished painting all of Frosthaven and uh, it went to the storage unit. It went to the storage unit for one reason. It's a big game. Um, I do want to do it. All right. But so many people have made so many videos of it. I just think it's kind of a waste if I do it. So what I decided to do was put it aside for now. Uh, come back to it later. I think it'll be fun to do later. Um, but I had a lot of fun painting it. And uh, it really, I really like what it does. It's just, uh, after I get done with my procedure and everything like that, that's another one that I'm going to uh, bring back in with Warhammer Quest and be able to play once I know I'm in, uh, I'm in good spirits. Um, what did I bring back though? I think that's really is one of the questions that everybody always asks. So, I brought back this game that you'll see a, a, a video later on the week talking about it and then we're going to play it and that's Legions of Steel. Now if you know nothing about this go to Raybox Games uh, who has the license for this now and it, this was originally done by Global Games Company. This is the old 1992-93 version. There may be another version out there. I couldn't make heads or tail on the site or if it's come out yet. Um, it it funded on GameFound, I think. Uh, if you're interested in it, make sure you check my video out first and see if it's up your alley. But it is kind of a Terminator type of Space Hulk game. And I brought it in and I thought about pulling Space Hulk and bringing it over over to this storage unit because I'm probably not going to play it in the next month or two. But for some reason, I just kept Space Hulk here. It just belongs here. What can I tell you? Um, I also brought in another copy of Space Fleet Battles. Uh, I have a whole big thing of this, and I absolutely uh, didn't realize how many of these that I have. Um, oh, and I brought in some expansions for... <laughs> excuse me, I'm not going to edit that. Um, I brought in some expansions for Chronicles of Drungor. I've been promising to do more on that. Um, and there's some really cool expansions that I want to do because I painted up the Paladin. So I want to paint that on Dead Dragon. And I want to get this more to the table. I think this is a very underrated game that does not get the love that it deserves. When you talk about Dungeon Crawls, you're talking Dungeon Universalis, League of Dun uh, Dungeoneers, of course, Warhammer uh, you know, Quest, uh, Dungeon Crusade. We talk a lot about that. But I think Chronicles of Drungor is right up there with all those fantastic games. And I think we need to revisit that. And I think it would be a lot of fun to do that. Uh, it is such a unique and fantastic game. And I think we'll have a lot of fun with it. Um, I also dug out some... Uh, I dug out... I dug out a, a dwarf army for a fire zone because I can use it in uh, Dead Zone. So we're gonna be putting that together. Uh, Company of Heroes, I have this huge locker. And I went, oh my God, I forgot I painted all this. And it's a fun, quick game uh, that's a little different, but it's absolutely beautiful. And it's a nice World War II game that I thought would brighten things up a little bit. Um, I found some more Battletech stuff I brought in. Um, and I'm brought back Marvel Zombies because I'm going to be painting those figures. So uh, I'm excited about that, provided my arm can hold up. 
So uh, those are the things that I'm excited about that I've brought into. Uh, I'm taking a trip there today. I'm going to bring some more stuff out. Uh, uh, like I said, I forgot to take all the Frostpunk stuff. And I just don't know what I'm going to come back with. Um, I, oh, one other thing I brought back, which I thought... I started bringing back a little bit more card games and stuff like that. Astro Knights we have um, that I purchased recently. And I brought back a uh, role player because I have an expansion for role player. Somebody over there, I'm still looking for um, one other expansion for it uh, to get the full experience, everybody says. And, and I love role player. So I brought that back to, to you know, as my condition seems to get be getting worse. That uh, what I want to do is be able to do things that are simple card games and things like that to share with you guys. Um, I'm also working on League of Infamy. I'm working on, uh, oh, it's right over there, Conquest. I'm working on some more Infinity, uh, which is, I'm finding out, which is really, really fantastic. And I, I, when I went to the, the thing, the uh, storage unit, of all the things to find, was I already had a copy of this. And I went and I picked up a copy of, of this. So I have two of them now. So uh, I let them know over at the Bearded Brown Coat that I may be bringing that one back. And we'll pick something else up. Another game that I might be bringing in from uh, Miniature Market to fill uh, some of the holes that we made is um, a game that really... You know, when I started watching videos on it, I was kind of maybe, maybe not. And it's at Miniature Market right now. And uh, I'm going to tell you in a second because uh, I'm looking right here uh, for it because I'm still on the fence with this. Um, Epic 7 Arise. Now, I guess there has been a lot of problems with the Kickstarter, but I'm actually thinking of bringing all this in. And it really fascinates me. And Doctor Who Nemesis, which really looks kind of interesting, but it's a two to four player game. But I may pass on that and I may bring in some more, uh, yeah, believe it or not, Fantasy Flight, uh, Lord of the Rings, um, not Lord of the Rings, uh, Arkham Horror card game, uh, which I've been looking forward to do. Uh, oh, and the other thing I brought back and I wanted to make sure is I brought back more stuff for Aventura the card game a game that i really love that you can get there's a kickstarter out there for it now and it made me think of it and i love that card game it's beautiful it's fun it's tough and it is an adventure and a half so um you'll see that maybe we'll try to do some of that live here we'll try uh, like i said i'm trying to get a whole bunch of stuff in before april 6th when i have a few things that are going to go on and we'll know where we're going to go from there so um, really, really looking forward to all the creativeness that I have in my head. Uh, I did get an extra copy of Tabletop Golf Association, which I plan on filming with my brother, the Tiger. Uh, uh, you know, Tiger's related to that other Tiger. So he's very, you know, very knowledgeable about golf. At least that's what he's telling me. So we'll be bringing you a whole bunch of that. So that's what is happening with the storage unit this week, folks. You never know. Nothing's safe. Nothing is safe. There are things that are just going to leave, and you have to get used to that. And that's the way we do things here at Rob's Tabletop World. So until next time, folks, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, everybody.